Hello and welcome everybody, I am the IT guy and in this video we'll be looking at how to mount an SMB network drive permanently in Linux. So I'm going to do this in Ubuntu, but this will work for any type of Linux distribution because we're going to use the SFS tab file. Uh, the only difference is that you'll probably need to install a different package. You'll need to install the package with a different command. If you're using something like CentOS or Red Hat, you'll have to use the yum command to install. Um, the package. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have the package. We're going to install sudo apt uh, install and we're going to do cifs-utils and I already have it installed but you should just go ahead and install it because we're going to need this one uh, in the future. So let's clear this one out and now let's take note of our network drive itself. So you should be aware of where your network drive is stored of course but first of all let us create a little file where we're going to store our credentials so uh, to do this you can actually specify the username and the password in the fs tab file itself but that's not really secure because any user on this computer especially if you're working with servers any user can access that and you don't really want that and you want to be able to set those permissions properly on this pc uh, or the server that you're working on locally you want to make sure that that file is secure so i already have mine uh, i already have mine but uh, i'm not going to open that one up i'm just going to show you how to do it in uh, your case so let's uh, do a nano uh, let's just call it password dot let's just call it password i guess uh, yeah, that doesn't really have to be a TXT file. It can be a TXT file. It doesn't really have to. You can just call it whatever. So we're going to do nano password. And what we're going to do is we're going to specify username equals. And we're going to have everything uh, everything mashed together. So no spaces, no quotes, nothing. So our username is going to be username in this case. And a password. Oops. Password is going to be password. So this is obviously not my password, not my username that I'm going to be using, but it's just the one that I want to specify. I'm going to control O to save it, control X, and now we have this password file stored over here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to edit the FS tab file. So we're going to do the sudo uh, uh, nano slash etsy slash fs tab. I'm going to do enter over here and already have added mine over here. So this is my IP. So let's go over all of the things over here. So we're going to specify the forward slash forward slash and then the server name. So I've entered the IP address of my server over here. And then we're going to specify the folder that we want to mount within that uh, on that server. So I have my data folder over here and then we want to specify a, a mount point. So I already created a mount point over here. So it's stored in the media slash Herbert slash Synology and you can mount that wherever you want. Just make sure that the file already exists in advance. Uh, then we want to specify uh, CIFS and do do take note that I, uh, that I separated all of these with tabs. Uh, best to have some consistency in that. So you can either use tabs or you can use spaces. I use tabs in mine, but just make sure that you're consistent in that. Uh, CIFS, and then we're gonna specify credentials. And credentials is gonna be the file where uh, we stored our, so this is my actual uh, file over here. So I have my SMB password over here. And this is a, a folder that I created where my actual password is stored in and not the one that I just showed you because the one that I just showed you was just to show how the syntax would work in that case. So uh, .SMB password and then uh, comma IO char set is going to be UTF-8 and we're not going to specify anything over here but um, you'll have to take note of a few things so when I go into my um, Synology over here so I'm working on the Synology network drive I know for a fact that my Synology supports SMB3 so it depends on what type of SMB uh, protocol you're using. So I'm using SMB3 over here, but if you're using something like a Synology, by default, it's going to be SMB2 maximum. So you're going to have to change that in the settings over here. So you can find that very easily when you go over to file services, go over to advanced settings. You can go ahead and change the uh, SMB protocol right over here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So by default, the CIFS utilities 
will uh, default to uh, SMB 3.0, but you can actually do something like ver equals 1.0, and that will specify a older version. And um, by default, also, you can specify the security type. So NTLM, uh, I believe, is going to be the default for for actual Windows. If you're actually running a Windows server and you want to uh, mount that, uh, maybe for older Windows type versions, you're going to have to specify the uh, security type. By default, the security type, by uh, the default security type is the, the most secure one and the best one that you can get by... Uh, and you can the best one that you can get then we're going to tap we're going to do zero and then also zero and then we're going to specify uh, we're going to do control o to save that file and uh that will be the line that we entered so pretty much um server name folder name and then we're going to specify the mount point locally on our pc or server we're going to specify cifs and then we're going to specify credentials equals the slash home slash herbert uh well my case at least whatever your username is or wherever you uh, store that file uh, specify the file the io char set will be utf8 and then zero and zero again so now let's uh, exit out of there and uh, now let's uh, sudo mount dash a and this will actually mount our drives and if there is uh, any issue with mounting the drives then it will tell you over here and you can do the message to find out what the issues were and as you can see i already had some issues before uh but of course i fixed them and uh, before i made this video of course so it was a little bit of uh, uh searching here and there uh finding these issues on the um in the manual pages for this utility but generally speaking uh it should work out the way I did it. So now let's go into that folder over here. Let's open that one up. Let's go into my uh, root folder, media, and then let's go into Synology. And would you look at that? All of my uh, files and uh, folders are right in here and they are all working just fine. I can open them up just fine. And uh, seems like everything works out the way it should alrighty so this was just me the IT guy showing you how to mount a Windows or SMB network drive in Linux I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye bye